Hello guys, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from or when you're watching this video. My name is Elze Mito. So yeah, basically um, what we want to do today is something very, very interesting. Um, we've uh, been able to like talk about this topic in several of my discussions with um, other designers, junior designers and stuff. And what is this topic? Visual metaphor. So we are going to be doing a design, you know, using that concept of visual metaphor. And you know, there are different kind of visual metaphor. We have the the similarity type, that is simile type. We have the just opposed type. Let's just um, jump right into it. So yeah, what is um, visual metaphor? So I'm just going to like give you a brief idea before we jump into um, the design proper. Uh, a visual metaphor is the represent representation of a place or a person or a thing or an idea by the means of visual image to suggest a particular association or point of similarity so for example if you want to um, do a visual metaphor of donald trump you don't even need to like do his office all you need is that orange hair with you know shabby look and everybody would know that yes that's donald trump you know, same thing with some several other places or human beings and stuff like that. It's also known as um, pictorial metaphor or what you call analogical just a, um, just a position. So yeah, but let's not bore you with too much talk. So let's um, leave that. Um, let's go straight to Instagram. So there's a particular post from Barry Up that talks about visual met metaphors. You can check it out. Just type in Barry Up on instagram or on linkedin or on twitter so um under this particular post we talked about what visual metaphor is the types of visual metaphors like i said we have just a position fusion and replacement so for just a position just a position is like the simile just like it have we have it here though we are comparing the product to uh, a particular image or to, to a particular idea so for example yeah it shows that the guy is strong enough to you know to you know withstand this kind of impact kind of so that's like um, a form of a simile you are comparing the car to an obstacle to a bunch of bricks and stuff like that then we have fusion and this is the combination of both um the product and what it is compared to so that is like it's almost similar to just a position but it has its own um you know, they have their own um, differences. Same thing with replacement. Replacements, you will not be using the product at all, but you'll be using something else to represent the product. So yeah, you can just check out um, this at your free time. And uh, yeah, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to um, jump straight to what I have for you today. So basically, we're going to be creating something related to tires, that's the car tires and i've really been thinking about what i can create you know visual metaphor is not something you can just sit down and create you must have thought of it sometimes it takes uh, months to come up with an idea sometimes it takes weeks sometimes it takes days so but because of this tutorial i have to just come up with a quick um idea so that idea is what i'm going to visualize and you know just follow me as i create it and the first thing i want to do is come to photoshop as usual creates a new document i'm going to make it black now i already downloaded the images i'll be using i downloaded the image of a tire a car tire and also the image of a car so the idea is this i want to show how strong the tire is so it is like an advert for a car tire brand so just to show you how um, effective and strong and durable the tire is just something it's not going to like the, the design is not supposed to speak too much right it's it's supposed to give you the tax of thinking so yeah let's just jump straight into that so this is the tire and this is the car so i'm going to drag in the tire it's a very simple straight design like i said so we are not going to spend so much time so now this is the tire initially now you can see that this tire is called um dunlop so we are going to use the Dunlop brand so that we don't, you know, I mean, since we are already using the tire, we definitely just use the brand, we we'll advertise for the brand. 
So the idea I have is I'm going to make this tire like a road, then car on it. Just as simple as that. Very simple. Now, visual metaphors sometimes do not require you to like do um, a long hour kind of design. The idea is for you to like have a major idea and visualize it and bring it into visual images. Now, the bulk of the time is spent on the thinking rather than the execution. So yeah, that's why you might not spend so much time here. So yeah, the next thing we want to do is this is the tire. Let's just um, transform. Let's use the transform tool and you know just tilt it just like so. We just want to make sure that it looks like a road. So just going to make it very very big. Very very big. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. All right. So let's work with something like this. This image was gotten from PNG Wing. That's like the best place to get your. Um, PNG files. So yeah, this is the tire, right? You can see it here. So let's just call that car tire, right? We can rasterize it. Now the background, I don't want to use a deep, like a dark shade of black. I want to use a bit, a lighter shade of black, like similar to ash. So we'll come down to our solid color and yeah, I like this color. Let's just make it slightly darker. Okay. You can see that it's different from this. Exactly. Now we have this. The next thing we want to then do is bring in our car. So I downloaded this car as well from um, PNG Wing. So what you want to do is place the car in such a way it looks like it is actually on the drive it's just like it's you know on the road let's rename it as car then let's zoom in all right so we have this car coming in Let's bring it forward slightly. Let's tilt it slightly. Yeah. So you can see the concept I'm going for. The concept is the car is durable so much that on any road, it's I mean it's lasts strong, lasts well, it lasts strong, it's durable, it's strong, you know. That's just like the idea I'm going for. I don't know if it makes sense. Well, yeah, that's just the idea. The road is rough, right? So the, the tire itself can can walk on. It can move on any kind of road, and it's going to stay very durable. That's one, and as well as it's strong, you know, very very high quality stuff like that. I don't really know much about tires, but <laughs> I'm just giving those um, characteristics. So yeah, this is our car. Then, okay, let's make the car smaller because it looks, it looks kind of big. Now I'm going to bring in another car, same car but you know a different color, so so that we can just put it somewhere. Here. Let's call this car two. This is car one. It is just as though it's a car is or something. Get this again. Rasterize, rasterize. 
So I'm going to just place this somewhere like so, you know, just at the back. Yeah. Now for this car too, so I'm going to just change the color. To do that, I don't need to. I can just come down here, choose um, hue and saturation, and clip it to color two. So clip color two, and then you can just adjust saturation here. So I'm just going to stick it to white, something like this, and with red I mean. So yeah, we have just these two car on the tire itself and it looks like the tire is the road but it's not the road then we are going to add a bit of you know, effect to the tire just so it can be you can see that the edges are not so smooth and to do that we can just pick a uh, Blood to make sure your strength is high and just Alright, so we have two cars on the tire. The next thing we want to do is add a bit of, I mean, basically this is the idea, a very simple idea. So basically what you want to do is just add some finishing touches to it, like we want to create a bit of light below the tire. So you can just take your brush, and just dab. And just reduce yeah something like this then you can hard smoke so to hard smoke you can just go to png wink and let's look for car smoke see if you can get something Bring it in. Use the size. Call this smoke. This is just like so. can convert it to um, yeah screen is fine Alright, so we have something like this. Do we want to include any other thing? Let's see if we can get um, the top view of the street lights. Street lights top view. If that's possible. I don't know if that's possible. to get any street lights top view. Let's just type top view and see if we can get anything that we can use. OK, 
Okay, it seems we are not able to get we're not able to get anything we can use. So I think we'll just go ahead to so we are using Dunlop. So let's check for Dunlop tagline. For the love, no, not Dunlop spots. Dunlop tires tagline. Then also Dunlop tire logo. You can see that even the colors are similar. Well, and that was like not thought of at all. Like I just picked the cars. Anyways, so let's pick the color, um, the logo, download it. So it says download, fill the road, I don't know. We just pick one. But first, let's bring in. So, and yeah, I'm going to change the I want to convert all this to white. So just go to image, adjustment, view and saturation, crazy. Yeah, we have the download logo set. Now, what else do you want to do? I think we are basically done with the concept. So, the only thing we want to then do now is add light and shadow to the to the tires. So, come down to your tire, create a new layer, give it light, and take your brush, use the brush, and paint across it because the light is coming from that end. So, overlay, we can then reduce it. Right, then shadow. Make sure it is black. You can zoom out slightly. We can properly pick this. We can apply soft light. Reduce slightly. Yeah, this works. Then we can also, I mean, we need. To, there's a shadow already on the car, right? Yeah, there's a shadow on the car already. So there's no need to add shadow to that. The light is reflecting just at the top. Hmm, it's reflecting at the at the side, not at the top. So definitely the shadow will be at the side. So yeah, let's duplicate this first one. And um, I think my camera is in view. Anyway, let's continue. So um, we are going to change the color to black. Let's just bring it forward. Like so then we Gaussian blur. I don't think we need uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think we need shadow. But yeah, let's let's just let's just see how it goes. This can work. So first off, let's quickly save our work. Don't love hard parts. Alright, another beautiful thing we can do 
before we finish our work finally is get um, headlights let's just write light car light <laughs> so you just keep testing the weights to find the exact one you're looking for okay this works well so we need a light that is you know either coming down so we can tilt it or you know but just ensuring that the lights as a direction yeah something like this is slightly fine you see where we're going with this yep it's not going to be this bright though to have a little bit of light at the end of the day we can actually create it ourselves instead of going through this stress so let's just create a new layer call it light then zoom in to the part where we want the light to show change this to the color of the lights you want to add then take your pen to pick the light So, then you can then um, fill the parts with your foreground color and after doing that apply uh, what's it called your yeah, screen is fine apply screen then you can then use <coughs> your apply all right we are back so like i said you apply um your gaussian blood to this yeah just apply gaussian blood just like so Right, then you can then create a layer max and brush brush the unnecessary parts. Let's use our brush. So we're just going to brush out the unnecessary parts. First off, we are going to reduce the opacity just brush it out so and as you move forward use your opacity when you come here you can still also increase the opacity just play around it okay so yeah we have this light then you can then duplicate the light bring it to this other side as well then um, transform flip and then properly align it like so all right so we have um, these two lights now I'm not going to apply to this one because when you apply to this one, you then have to, or should we do that? Um, pink layers, it. Okay, let's just apply. So let's zoom in. Now that we've applied this, I'm going to bring it up because it's going to be above. Now that we've applied this. Now that we've applied this, definitely the light is going to affect this car. So on this particular car, we're going to create 
a layer called light, another light, but it's going to be clipped to the car. And that's because, you know, since a light is showing down here, it's going to affect the body of the car. I mean, it's going to definitely show a form of light on its body, just like so. Alright, so for that light, we're going to just change it to overlay, reduce it slightly. Then we can add um, shadow to the car. Change this to shadow. Yes. Just slightly. Soft light. Like so. On this car as well, we'll add um, shadow. Had our shadow in this car. Yep. So all right. Soft light as well. Slightly reduce it. And when we zoom out, now you can see that yes, it's looking looks cool kind of. Anyways, our brightness, this, yeah, let's reduce it. Alright. So, now that we have this, I mean, we don't even need a tagline because it's a visual um, metaphor. So, most times the tagline comes in the copy or something. So, yeah, basically, this is, this is it. Let's add a few color look up just to you know play with it. Okay, let's see my change. Let's see my eyes. Let me see. Oh, okay, there are changes. And also we can add another color look up. Yeah, by first. All right. So yeah, basically, this is the idea I had, and yeah very very simple and straightforward and finally select the first layer select select the first layer then scroll down select the last layer then ctrl shift alt e and what you what you have just done is you have converted everything to a single design to a single layer design so then you can go to your filter your camera roll and analyze your design so let's do that. All right. So we are going to reduce the exposure because it's it's <clears throat> <clears throat> the idea is although it's a tire, but it's, the environment should be like a kind of a late night movement. So yeah, we are going to reduce the contrast, increase the highlights slightly, reduce the shadow. Play around the white depending on how you want the white reduce the texture a little increase increase um, the clarity you can also increase the texture a little increase the ears or the A's sorry not the ears so yeah let's say I'm satisfied with this right then I can then save my work so basically that's all about my idea for a visual metaphor and like i said if you want to learn about visual metaphor you can check out um Umbari or on instagram and definitely they would you would like just check the page you will see something on visual metaphor you can just read up on it i know you can also do your um 
know, home work and just check on Google and learn more about visual metaphor. It's a very, very interesting part of photo manipulation. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. If this resonates with you, then give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment. You can also subscribe. So see you guys next time.